All right, we got Mulan and Jasmine here. You yes. want to see Princess Extravaganza tonight, right? Yes, and we only met tonight. Yes. So it's been really exciting for me. I can't wait to meet the other princesses. I missed it at D23 because I was working and I couldn't go. I was so bummed. Oh my god. I think my life is complete now that I've met you. Yeah. I find yeah. yes. I hadn't met you were I think the only person I that I hadn't met yet. Yeah, so I was so sad. So do you keep in touch with a lot of like the old school, like the ones from the eighties and the nineties? We we are on a text chain together. Oh, we are, can I yes. Join? Absolutely. Yes. I'm putting you on that, <laughs> right? You. After we get off this okay. carpet. Okay. For sure, yes. I love the scene in the movie where you guys are all in like your comfy clothes. Like, oh, yeah, I know. It, you know, I mean, it contemporizes the entire princess line, and I think it's fantastic. It kind of brings a human element to it. You know, I mean, they're still very uh, kick beep, but um, but at the same time. I think it's just wonderful to see that girl empowerment uh, yeah. all together. No, totally. Yeah. Okay, so the movie is Ralph Breaks the Internet. How would Mulan and, and Jasmine break the internet? Or you guys? Oh, how would we break the internet? Well, that's a really good question. Uh, I, think, uh, I think Mulan would probably still, you know, use her uh, wit as well as um, maybe tackle it with a sword every so often. Yeah, a couple of a couple of martial arts move. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think Jasmine would definitely use the genie. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's easier. We're doing a whole '90s segment this month over at, at Axis. Your favorite memories of being a part of Aladdin? What, what comes to, to mind? Oh my gosh, I I loved going to the studio and, and working here in California in Burbank. I just felt like I was living a dream that I'd had as a little girl that I didn't even know. I didn't know that people voiced these characters. I just thought they were real. So I I didn't know that I could be a princess one day, and that I got to do that was a dream come true for me. And how great voicing uh, Mulan and in this film. You know, back in the 1980s, for Disney to take such a risk in doing an ethnic character, first of all, and with a completely ethnic storyline of yeah. this Chinese folklore. It was such a leap of faith and uh, I really have to hand it to our producers and writers and animators who poured their heart and soul into it and it still remains, you know, one of the great classics because I think it was hand drawn too. There was there's just so much heart and love that went into the older animations, yeah. I think.